During the Industrial Revolution, the lace makers in Nottingham were uh, being put out of work because of mechanization, and so they left England uh, with these small miniature bulldogs that were around at the time and went to France in search of work. In France, the French took this little dog and crossed it with other breeds that they had around at that time and thus created the French Bulldog. Back uh, years ago, they did use the Bulldog for bull baiting, but that was outlawed and it was a much different dog than what we see today in the French Bulldog. It was a, it was a much bigger dog. They were then brought to America in the late 1800s and actually in the early 1900s, between 1900 and 1905, they were the fifth most popular breed in the Americas in the United States. The breed is bred for basically a companion dog. The dogs are very, very soft, very complacent. They are people dogs. They're not bred well in a kennel environment. They do need people all the time. They make very good companion dogs. They don't, uh, they're not really fussy where they live, it's how they live. Uh, I have dogs of mine living in apartments in New York City and I have dogs of mine that live on acreage in the country and in terms of exercise requirements they are minimal to moderate. In terms of grooming it is minimal to moderate uh, and when I say that I mean every animal needs to be brushed you know, several times a week but two three times a week and a short walk that many times is, is ample for the French Bulldog. So this is a dog that you could take anywhere with you and loves to go and very well behaved when it goes along. Like all dogs uh, other than Bichon's Poodles, they do shed their house dogs because they're kept in the house 12 months of the year, they do shed 12 months of the year, but it's minimal shedding. The lifespan now for Frenchies is getting better. When I got into the breed 10 years ago, it was 9 to 10 years. It's now 12, 13 years. Better veterinary care. People are more concerned about what they feed their dogs and how they care for their dogs. I've been in dogs all my life. I've had many different breeds. Once I discovered the French Bulldog, I realized that I will never live without one. They are very, very different. And you say that sounds funny. And as a dog person, I thought it sounded funny too. But wait till you get one. They're, they're amazing.